So this is all about polymerization and polymerization is used to make plastics and we start off with different building blocks which we call monomers. The building block we're going to use in this example is ethene. So there's a monomer, ethene, you can see it's a small molecule with a double bond. There's another molecule of ethene, again exactly the same, a small molecule with a double bond. Now when we polymerize something, we bring these two molecules together. In fact, we bring a long chain of lots of these molecules together. And what happens is, see those double bonds in the middle? Those double bonds break open and the molecules end up forming a long chain. That long chain is called a polymer. So our monomer was called ethene, so our polymer is going to be called polythene, polythene. There we go, that's polythene. So in this example, the monomer is tetrafluoroethene, that's C2F4. And along the top you can see lots of different monomer molecules. In fact, there are only four, but normally there'll be lots and lots and lots and lots of them. And what happens is when they're polymerized, that double bond between the two carbon atoms, it breaks, breaks up and they all line up. So down at the bottom you can see the, the polymer which is formed, which is called poly tetrafluoroethene and it can be shown in two different ways both on the bottom left and on the bottom right are the two ways of writing poly tetrafluoroethene now you need to know, know about two other examples which are propene and chloroethane lastly you need to know about the properties and uses of four different polymers the polymers are polythene, polypropene, polychloroethene, otherwise known as PVC, and polytetrafluoroethene, otherwise known as PTFE. Polythene is flexible and cheap, so it's used for plastic bags. Polypropene is flexible and it won't shatter, so it's used for making buckets and bowls. Polychloroethene is tough and long-lasting, so it's used to make window frames and gutters on buildings. And lastly, polytetrafluoroethene is tough and it's very, very slippery, so it's used as a coating for non-stick frying pans.